Hi all and welcome to another video. Um, we're out here at Westmar, southeast Queensland. It's about 400 kilometres inland from the east coast of Australia. And um, we're just laying some pipe work and um, come across something quite interesting on the side of the road. And what it is, is it's this small black stone you can see on the ground here. Uh, and last week we um, found some as well. There's a few concentrations around the countryside. And um, this is a significant concentration here as well. I thought it'd be a good opportunity just to run through exactly what this stone is. Uh, last week I thought it was a hematite, which is an iron ore. But a hematite, as it turns out, is not magnetic. Whereas this is uh, magnetic, as you can see by just running a magnet over it. It's attached to my torch. It's actually picking the stone up, um, creating a bit of a, a bouquet, as you might call it of iron ore. So this is actually magnetite, which is um, the primary iron ore of Australia. And it's currently worth about $94 USD a ton, which is about $140 Australian. So it's um, worth significant money, of course. And it's, as you can see, the quality of it's outstanding. Um, so there's potentially an iron ore mine beneath their feet out here. And most people probably wouldn't even be aware of it. Now, magnetite forms um, or hundreds of millions of years ago, I think it's 130 or 140 million years ago, um, from cyanobacteria in the ocean. So once upon a time, this was all out under the ocean um, and cyanobacteria creates uh, what's it's a formation called a stromatolite, which you can still see over in Western Australia, some of the oldest life form structures on earth. Um, and as they form these structures, the oxygen from the formation bubbles up through the water and oxidizes the iron in the, um, in the actual seawater itself. And as it oxidizes the iron in the water, the, the iron falls out of the water and settles on the ocean floor to form sediment layers. Now, of course, this here is all broken up, but originally it would have been in a sediment layer and has since eroded out into the landscape around here as you, as you can see. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed it. Cheers.